Okay, so here is where you can see flat color in the action in an actual painting as well. So what you have here is just wide areas of the color, just straight mixed colors, could be straight out of the container, whatever it is, but they're flat colors and that's how it gets that technique's name. Once you are you know, working on your second color, you can kind of come in at some different details and really play around with what you want to do. I'm doing these techniques in isolation, but most of them would eventually be used and layered. Because with painting, you don't just do one layer. You do a lot to add depth and make it interesting. You could also switch to a thicker brush. The video shut off on me, so I had to restart and I mixed up some more colors which was fine, so then you guys don't have to wait on me to mix up. So these colors are dry next to each other, so I can now come and get a nice flat color. And one of the things that's nice about painting is that if you make a mistake, it's okay because you can paint over it. If you're not sure what happened here, this is a dry brush, and that happened because I needed to go get some more paint. It's actually its own separate technique. You wanna always just, if you're going for flat color though, make sure you maintain a wet edge. You'll see that I switched the angle to pull it away from myself in order to do that. Now I'm going to use my small flat brush in order to fill it in. You might have a little bit of paint that's thicker to create brush strokes. Some artists really like that. That can still be flat color. The thing about flat color is that you are just trying to not have it mix on the paper. All right, so now I'm just going to blend that out a little more, and I am done with that area. I could come back into inside this half circle because it's dry now. Fill that in and so forth. I think that you all get the point, but I do want you to fill your entire area up, but I don't think you need to watch me do that. You'll just keep working back and forth and you'll get to see that some of the paint is a little more transparent or see-through and so you might want to do a couple coats of a color just to get it to actually show up. So the next one is layering textures. I'm going to go back to the slideshow so you can see that. With layering textures what you're doing is you're building up so you have multiple layers of paint. You're going to go through and really make it kind of thicker, you'll come back and forth, and you'll have maybe some painting techniques that show through, as well as some of the others. So again, for this one, you can put some paint on it, go to blending, and then come back. And so you'll do different techniques over the top, and so I might keep adding to it as I go through some more. So this is a mixture of techniques as you create. So I'm gonna get my larger flat brush, it's over here. I'm gonna take, let me think, I'm gonna do some green grass, and so for this one, I just need to get some color painted in. You can see that I've started to run out. Just trying to get some block colors on there. I'm actually going to wash off my brush now and come in with some blue sky. Just fill that little area in. I was really thinking about it. I probably should have done the blue sky first because that would make sense for it to be behind the grass. Oh well, that's okay. So for right now, I'm gonna let that one dry. I'm going to go back to my glazing since it's dry and finish that technique. So with the glazing, what you're going to do is you're gonna add water to your color. If you got into acrylic paint, this would be instead of water where you actually have some gel mediums that you can use. And it's a really fun technique to thin out your paint um, to do it. So I'm gonna do it with some white paint and some yellow just so you can see it. So in my paint palette, I am taking just a little bit of water and this is where you might wanna wash your water because you can see it has a purplish tinge to it. That doesn't really bother me and I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow. If you want it to be more transparent, add more water. And I'm gonna take and just whatever brush I have, I'm gonna glaze over it. 
So you're going to see the color underneath. You might have where it's thicker in some areas. So you just basically do that. You could do like a swirl if you wanted so you can kind of see how it differs. I'm going to then do it with a couple other colors. This time white. And again, you could add more paint versus water ratio or whatnot. So in this one, it's a little more paint. So I'm going to add more water. Maybe do another swirl. It's thicker. You can't see through it. So as it dries, though, the water should evaporate, and you'll see through that one more, like you'll see right there. So any colors will work. I could have gone darker over the top instead of lighter. Um, but it's a great tool just to get more depth in your painting, add some creativity, and really play around with what we just learned with ceramics as well. The awesome part is, is that now my layering textures is almost dry too. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a little tree. So I don't have brown, and who cares? I don't have to have a realistic tree. So I'm going to take a little black. Since I'm trying to create different textures, I might have where I come in with my brush and just kind of really pull out and not worry about it being in a flat color. I might come in with my maroon color from my palette then and just let some of the black show through. It's probably hard to see that, so I'll switch to some white. But what I'm doing is just creating texture with my brush. And because it's layered, some of the color might show through. So that's the cool part about layering texture. So you could do different techniques. You could think about what we learned in the drawing unit. Really, as you move in and on in art, you get to try out lots of different things all throughout it. Then for the leaves of the tree, I could come in and kind of, you know, like play around and let things just kind of populate. And right now I didn't clean my brush, and I, I like the look of that, so I'm going to just run with it. Come in with a little white maybe over here. I'm actually doing a little bit of blending. And I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to come back to it at a later time.